Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers speaking. I'm looking at a very interesting book from Informa. Uh, this is a dis uh, dispute resolution guide series. It's on international commercial mediation from Cyril Churn. It's a light book, about 300, uh, 250 pages, something like that. It's very detailed, though. Um, it's a nice light book, and it's very much the sort of book I, I find extremely helpful. Um, you can see the way it's laid out. There are actually chapters and various other bits and pieces. It's not too heavy on footnotes and various other things. And I think you get some nice blend here uh, as a guide on what we need to know about when we're looking at this type of mediation. <coughs> now, my wife and I have given it a title. We, uh, it's actually got a review on Flickr. And we've given it the title, Courtesy Before Belligerence, Do You Want to Go First? Now, let me explain about this, because <coughs> what we say is that this is a delightful and useful book in the current policy climate for primacy of ADR here in the UK as a device when sorting out contentious matters. We've always felt that mediation is really about common sense, and uh, Chern's book fulfills the task brilliantly in 15 chapters littered with samples and examples of what we need when mediating. I think a CD-ROM would have actually been quite useful, personally, as an additional tool here. The book starts with a short history of mediation, <coughs> and uh, Mr. Chern's task is to expand a little that's been written about how to mediate and what techniques can be applied to obtain a successful result. Little's been written about how to deal with large, complex international commercial disputes and how they are effectively administered. So Mr. Churn provides the knowledge necessary for those actively involved with ADR, as well as those learning, uh, needing to learn the process for membership of the Institute and uh, obviously the requisite courses which we have as lawyers. In the preface, Churn highlights two examples of mediation in North America, in Toronto and California. Both were successful and form the basis of the book as a result of his experiences. And we're suitably grateful to him because he is uh, the rightly acknowledged expert. The questions he raised, I think, are quite useful, well, certainly at the beginning of the book. He says, how does any mediator know what is the best way to approach any dispute? How does the average mediator know what techniques may work better, or what forms and procedures are better than the ones currently used? And what new methods for effective dispute resolution are available, and how are they best <coughs> um, out uh, to use. Now, he actually explains all of that in detail. It's a summary of his expertise, and it's the tricks of the trade, basically, unveiled, so that um, we therefore have this problem that we see media, uh, mediation as um, an individuality, if you like, about, um, about it as a subject uh, and a device, because no two cases or parties are ever going to be the same, so effectively are all unique. Those starting out on the mediation road might find this useful for the Tomlin orders and for the Scott schedule details and a lot of the other little things that are in the book, which are, I thought very helpful for the new beginner. Um, mediation has been with us, of course, since the beginning, uh, so it predates written history, although scholars disagree as to when the first known example of mediation actually occurred. One thing is clear though, however, and that is in a new age when we may be returning to litigation as a last resort rather than a first resort, the polite question, do you want to go first, will always set the scene for a successful attempt at mediation, as the initial courtesy can disarm the belligerent at the outset. And you'll need Churn's guide, in our view, at the outset too, for its sage advice and calmness of thought. Thank you very much, Cyril. Bye-bye.